when you buy a new guitar, in many ways, you know, you're buying into a dream, whether that's your own dream, you know, maybe a dream you've harbored since you were young, the music you listened to, the, the instruments you saw being played by the guitarist that you loved. You tend to be buying into something. If you're buying a Gibson or a Fender, there's a heritage and a history that might interest you and excite you and inspire you enough to play and make new music. In this case, I feel like I was buying into the dream of someone else, but a dream that resonates with me so well and clearly by the reception that Neil Iverson is getting with many other people too. Okay, Mr. Iverson, I have to say, I haven't been this excited about opening a guitar case in a very long time. And we're at the house of my friend Stuart here of Sunbear Pickups. He very kindly took the guitar in for me. And I just can't wait. This was at the guitar show that happened last weekend. And uh, lots of other people have got their hands on it before me. And all I've heard is great things. Right, here we go. Ta da! Oh, wow. Bloody hell. That is a beaut. Quite often with small builders, I can really admire their work, but I can't quite relate to what they're trying to say to me in the form of their guitar. In Neil's case, I feel like he's taking us on a journey, uh, a journey through what are some of my favorite instruments in terms of heritage and, you know, rock and roll history. In this guitar, I can see a really playful match of, you know, junior aesthetics, Les Paul aesthetics, firebird aesthetics and i think that's where the expected meets the unexpected in this guitar we have firebird pickups or actually sunbird pickups from some bear and we have this raised central section which reminds you of the through neck of a firebird and we've got the sort of i think quite simply elegant sort of flat top as opposed to a carved top it feels quite playful. By not having block inlays, by having these dots, it's not taking itself too seriously. And I love the way this is basically a dream. You know, it's something that Neil dreamt up and it has played out very well in my opinion. <laughs> The attention to detail on this guitar is absolutely fantastic. The quality of work is beautiful. Neil Iverson is taking the most care and time and attention he can to make this a fantastic instrument.
thanks for watching. You can look forward to much more content about this beautiful Iverson Dakota. I'm absolutely in love with it. I also now, as you notice, have my magnetone fixed, which hadn't been working for the last few months. I'll explain that in another video. On top of that, we'll be exploring a very exciting other thing that I came across uh, yesterday. But uh, I just want to say this guitar is uh, beyond my expectations. It sounds, feels and plays absolutely wonderfully. And uh, I need to make more space for some Iverson guitars back here, I probably think. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the thumbs up button, it really helps. And let me know what you think. Cheers.